Cheers. Good morning, Newfoundland. I hope you're having a great morning so far. I'm up bright and early, ready to go on an adventure. Need my coffee first though. Today, actually I'll show you on the map in a second, but my plan today is I'm heading up to Bonavista and I'm going to be going up to the lighthouse, checking out the uh, dungeon park I think it's called as well as uh, Allison go see if I can see any puffins that kind of thing I'm just planning on going up exploring taking my drone out where I can and capturing as much footage as I possibly can to show you how beautiful our province is yeah that's my goal just to share the beauty and my journey and uh, I'm looking forward to this one it's a long ride up about not long I guess it's just a little over three hours to get there but uh, my tourist uh, persona is going to be uh, dragging out the whole day. So I'm going to be taking my time and exploring. So it should be good. I hope you enjoy the video. Anyway, here's a map of uh, what's, uh, what to expect and where I'm going. Just to give you a visual in case you're not familiar with where Bonavista is and that campground I'm in. So this is the route I'm going to be taking on this trip. I'm going to be leaving St. John's. Making my way on the Trans Canada, past Whitburn, past Arnold's Cove, past Clarenville, and then I'm gonna head out to Bonavista, where I'll probably have lunch. And from there, I'm going to work my way up to the Cape Bonavista Lighthouse. Then I'm gonna go visit the Dungeon Provincial Park. Then I'm gonna scoot over to Elliston, which is like the puffin capital of the province and from there i'm going to cross down the other side around birchie cove amherst cove and make my way across and down to loxton path provincial park where i'll be spending the night which is just next to port rexton as you can see so that's my plan i hope you enjoy it Yay, I'm on my bike. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, just past uh, Whitburn now, heading towards Clarenville. It's funny, I just stopped literally two minutes ago to put on my rain gear because the rain was pouring down. You can probably still you can see the rain on the windshield. But of course, as soon as I change into my rain gear, look around. It's like the sun is trying to break out. Oh well, it's a little chilly so it helps block a little bit more wind so I'm not going to complain too much about having to stop and put rain gear on. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoy the uh, ride so far. Well, so far this is the first clip. <laughs> I hope that you will enjoy my ride. I'm going to, my first stop, aside from putting on rain gear, is going to be at Tim Hortons in Clarenville. Grab a little donut maybe, or a muffin, and uh, a little coffee and take a pause, stretch the legs a bit. So anyway, I'll see you in Clarenville. Well, usually I stop here at Robin's on the way, but since I'm continuing past Clarenville, I'm going to drive the extra 16 minutes or 27 kilometers to uh, have a coffee at Tim Hortons instead of Robin's today. I used to always stop over here at the uh, at the Irving. There's an Ultramar. I can't remember Irving. And, uh, but for some reason, well, that's always just busy. It's always crowded, it's always packed. So I started going to the one back where the Robins is. That's the main reason. Nothing to do with this place versus that place or anything like that. Oh man, why did they 
had to let the truck go. That sucks. <laughs> not even pulling out so that's good there whoo pressure gun yeah usually uh, stop and go in and check out the uh, moose and always got a pose next to the moose feels weird coming here without going down to Bjorn Peninsula Highway because that's where I'm from that's where I'll be going again in about two or three weeks for the bow boy ride Actually, I'm going again this weekend, possibly to visit my parents, so uh, that'll be another ride for me. That one's a little longer than this one. I think the guy would have a helmet on, wouldn't you? It is a scenic place, isn't it? Beautiful. Nice place to have a boat. I spend a lot of time out around there. Yeah, we have an amazing island. Well, we made it to the gas station and the Tim Hortons. So, might as well fill up both bellies. Top up the top up my motorcycle and then I'll top my own belly up first afterwards <laughs> first all right it's hard getting off with all that gear Well, that was an interesting coffee. I uh, had a good chat with a gentleman. I got another guy there on a gold wing. He's from uh, Bay Roberts. So he rode out to Clarenville just for a drive, or a ride, I should say. Anyway, the guy's in his 90s, and uh, he's still out riding his gold wing and loving it. It's, uh, it's awesome to see. His uh, last name is Mahoney. He's from Bay Roberts. and. Uh, Nice guy, nice guy to chat with. Gander straight ahead, Catalina and Bonavista. Let's do the Discovery Trail today. I forgot what it was called. Discovery Trail, that makes sense since there's a statue or a monument, statue I'll call it, of uh, John Cabot up there in Bonavista, which I'll show you sometime in this video. 
Welcome to Discovery Trail, Port Union 89, Carolina 91, Bonavista 108. Not sure what the speed limit is here. 90. Okay, I'm good. Don't those clouds look pretty cool? Could be because of my visor, but the uh, almost got a blue tint to them. And I'm colorblind, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. So this little place is called Charleston. Scenic little spot. Port Rexton. Oh, there's the entrance to my park in five kilometers. Isn't that pretty? Horses out there crazy. If I'm not mistaken, there's a beach with a big giant seat down to the right here somewhere. Yes, I'm right. Me and my wife sat there one time. Because we were here a few years ago and camped. And there was nothing open to get a coffee in the morning, so we sat on that beach until something opened. You'll see more of this spot later on in the video, because after I'm done my camping, I'm going to be uh, going around this area before I head back. This is the Port Union area. Welcome to the municipality of Trinity Bay South. Looks pretty with all those islands out there. Seaport Inn. This area is Port Union. I imagine it was a busy spot a few years ago, especially when the railway was in full force. Sir William F. Coker Bridge. Catalina Elementary School. We're still Catalina. Welcome to historic Bonavista, the landfall of John Kept. I present to you Bonavista. Bonavista. Call it Bonavista. It's actually a lot bigger than I imagined or that I remembered. Robins. So as per usual, I'm not going to edit out much of uh, the trip through Bonavista because I'm here to show it to you. If I edit it out, you can't see it. We'll see. Later on when I get into the editing, I might have it way too long and decide, all right, I got to cut it back a half an hour. Then I might uh, edit some of this stuff out, but we're here for the ride. Now, I got to remember how to get 
where I want to go. So I don't want to just spend my time on this main drag. I want to get down by the wharf where the boats are. Google Maps is trying to tell me to go left down here, so maybe I'll listen to Google Maps and see where it brings me. Worst case scenario, it's a dead end and I circle back. I think Google Maps done me good. This looks like the scenic part that I've been looking for. Yay, boats and seagulls. Down here. Oh, dead end. There was a spot where me and my friends were... St it's probably over that way. We'll see. It's a busy spot here. Worse than St. John's today. Starting to have a little deja vu. Yes, and here's where I parked. Time to stretch the legs. All right, let's go and look at some boats. This little lookout is where me and Robert and Dave Wareham and John Mallard hung out one time. We came here for a little ride. Beautiful spot, isn't it? Water so calm today. Looks the same as it was two years ago. Busy spot. Well, since I'm on borrowed time, I better put my drone up now before I don't have much time. Because I still got to get out to that lighthouse. 
I'm starting to think Elliston might be off the agenda today just because uh, I was a little late leaving. We'll see how fast I can get some drone clips and get through this community and head out to that lighthouse. So I want to be back to my campsite no later than 6. That way I got time to settle down and get the tent set up and get the fire going, all that fun stuff. Drone time. Got a few little clips from there. Hope you enjoyed them. Look what's coming behind me. Look at those dark clouds up there. Hopefully that's not rain coming this way. Although it kind of looks it. Maybe it'll stay away until I'm settled in for the night. We'll see. Anyway, back to the bike. Off to the lighthouse, if we can find it. <laughs> God, it's easy to get turned around here in Bonavista if you're not familiar with it. So I guarantee I'm probably going the wrong way. We shall see. Because this is the way I came in. I feel like I'm not giving uh, this place the justice it deserves.
Elliston and Spiller's Cove that way. Starting to think those Clydes are getting closer. If it is rain, I hope I can beat it to uh, the lighthouse first. Sorry, you're probably getting crosswinds here now. I'm not sure how well this uh, microphone uh, blocks out the crosswinds. Hopefully it's enough, that way you can still hear my voice. Because when I get home and do my editing, I'll try to filter out some of that wind noise as well for you. I think there's about 20 different ways to get to wherever you need to go here. Oh, he stopped. Yeah, a couple of years ago, me and my wife stayed here. We stayed in a nice uh, pod. That was during COVID, that's right, because we had to, uh, it was touchless entry kind of thing. They had a key box there, a lock box, and they give you a code through the email and you get your key. Uh, I was hoping the route was going to go that way, but it's taking me to the right. Nice little small little buildings here, pretty old. Some of them remind me a lot of up around the old part of Bjorn. We are 5.1 kilometers to the lighthouse, so it shouldn't be that bad. few bikes on the go today. Not too many, but a few. It's already What I mean, Bonavis is big. And the lighthouse is out there, I believe. It's a busy spot today by the looks of it. It is a Sunday. Overnight parking of recreational vehicles and trailers are banned. Okay, it says nothing about tents. So I can come back sometime with my tent. Oh look, rickety fences. <laughs> yes, I have a thing about rickety fences. They really add to the atmosphere, or the, uh, the whole scene, the landscape.
I got a feeling this place is going to be packed. Only for my parents are coming in tomorrow and my son's uh, convocation from uh, from college is on Tuesday. I probably would have waited until tomorrow night just, uh, just to avoid the weekend uh, traffic. So Dungeon Park is out that way. I got to remember that coming back. Oh, a camper. Guess they didn't read that sign. Yeah, I know, I could have pushed pause and just edited out all this, but I'm here for the ride. You can forward, but those who want to tag along can st stick around. I had lunch here one day. I don't trust anybody here. Anyway, uh, me and Robert and John had, uh, had a feed there one time. I think that's who it was. Or maybe it was uh, me and my wife. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was me and Robert and John. Cape Bonavista, one kilometer. Over to the left, I don't know if you can see from here, but you can see the statue of John Cabot. That's all right, I'll shut up. Just enjoy the view. I know the parking is back there. I just want to come up for the ride. No parking. Actually, I'll just park over here. We made it. 
Okay, now let's go look around. So this area is Cape Bonavista. There's the big old lighthouse. Infamous in all its glory. Warning signs, I wonder why. Well, it's starting to rain, so I might not be able to fly my drone. We shall see. Beautiful scenery. There's an anuk chuck over on top of that rock. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? Bloody rain. I knew those clouds are coming towards me. Damn it. All the way out here, three and a half hours drive, so I can get my drone up, and as soon as I get here, it rains. Of course it would. Here, I'll bring you down and show you the little red shack. You've probably seen many, many pictures of it over the years. It's every photographer's dream, I think. And of course, it has a rickety fence as well. Rickety fences everywhere. So this is all over Facebook. Guaranteed you'll see this if you look for it. I'm going to show you something else that's kind of cool, at least I think it is. You heard of those Inuk Chucks? I can't remember if it's Inu or Inuit. So, uh, anyway, uh, they're all over the place here, just look. They are everywhere, everywhere you look. They're all over the place up here. As far as you can see, nuck chucks. This weather is actually putting a little bit of a damper on my spirits. Keep pacing around, I guess, and uh, hopefully it stops and I'll get my drone up, but man, it's gonna be disappointing if I don't get my drone clips. Yeah, I'm sulking now, I'll stop. <laughs> well, it's definitely not the uh, view I was hoping for. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go in here, I think. Show you the statue first before I go. Heading to Dungeon Park afterwards, but... Again, I don't think I'll get any drone clips there. I see a lot of people read the signs. <laughs> Only 
going to be here for a few minutes. All right, let's go up and have a look. Cabot's Landfall in the New World. A lot of controversy over this, isn't it? I apologize if I'm breathing heavy because I still got my helmet on. <laughs> John Cabot, 1497. All the campers got the place taken over. Hey, made it back. Time to go again with a wet seat. Screw this rain anyway. All right, we made it to Dungeon Park. Dungeon Provincial Park. Let's go have a peek. For those of you who haven't been here before. Parks and L. This, uh, this is all new. The last time I was here, I don't think any of this was here. And there she is. This is Dungeon Park in all its glory. It's pretty cool. Used to be a heart shaped rock down there somewhere. Not sure where it is now. Maybe it's from another view, another angle. I think I should put my drone down there. I love the coastline up this way. It's so different on different parts of the province you go to. Out here, it's right jagged. If that's one way of uh, describing it. See how different the rocks are here? One thing that's bugging me, in a way, in a way it's not, it's not raining now. 
that bugs me because <laughs> just 10 minutes ago I could have uh, used no rain to fly my drone up at the lighthouse but uh, that's it I'm not going back to the lighthouse now but the other reason it's good is because now I'll have a dry campsite and I can have my fire <laughs> so you gotta take the positives out of the negatives right There, that wasn't so bad. I think I got a few clips. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you do too. Well, since the weather cleared up, I'm actually going to go back out to the lighthouse. Because I really do want to get clips of the lighthouse. And I may have to skip Elliston. We shall see how things go because it's already after five. And I want to get back to my site and get set up and just settle in for tonight kind of thing. God, that's bumpy. So I figured I'm going to go back and get some uh, clips of, uh, of the lighthouse because I, like I said, initially I, that's what I wanted. And I'm a little bit iffy about Elliston anyway. Just because it's very well populated with puffins. And my plan was to go to the side, fly up as high as I can, and then fly out and approach from offshore kind of thing. So that way I'm nowhere near the nests. I'm not disturbing them while they're doing their nesting or anything like that. Just catch things from a distance. That was my plan. And that's kind of the similar thing what I'm going to do up here as well. Because I know they nest up around uh, the lighthouse as well. So I'm going to be very cautious and be very diligent with my drone usage. But I just figured that Allison might be a little bit too congested.
Well, I'm happy. I got my drone clips of Bonavista Lighthouse. Although it was mostly a cliffs, but I still got it. Anyway, slight change of plans. It's already 25 to 6. It's uh, almost an hour's ride to the campsite. So that'll be going on 7. And I got to stop as well and pick up a lighter because I forgot my lighter. So uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm at now. I'm going to stop and grab a lighter somewhere and uh, grab some more water and head to the site and get set up for tonight. It's taking me all these shortcuts and different routes. <laughs> I don't know if I should trust Google Maps or not anymore. Must see if I can get a lighter in here. Not sure where you park, it's hard to tell. Well, guess what? I am an idiot. Well, I forgot my lighter, for one, which I needed. Although I might have got away with that, because I do have my striker there, or that little thing you strike <laughs> and creates a spark. I forget what they're called now. Uh, some kind of fairing rod or a ferrule rod or something like that. I got one of those, but they're no good for lighting joints with, so uh, I had to stop and grab a lighter. But as I'm getting colder right now, because I only got a hoodie on underneath this jacket, and I got my rain jacket, but I realized that I forgot my uh, puffer jacket, which is what I was going to wear sitting around the fire. So I'm going to have to build a bigger fire, I guess, to stay warm. <laughs> Hopefully the temperature doesn't drop too much. Shouldn't be too bad. I got my um, I got my old uh, Air Force uh, long johns and uh, top as well for uh, for undergarments, so I can wear that. That should be good enough to get me uh, comfortable a few degrees lower. Yeah, forgetting everything this time. Oh well, that's it. I will survive because it's not going to go down to minus 10 or anything. Plus my uh, comforter, my uh, blanket that I have that I use my uh, quilt is good for about around zero degrees minus 10 for comfort not for survival but for comfort so I should be okay fingers crossed though up oh, Port Rexton we're here now so I'm only about two and a half kilometers away from the campsite and again this is Port Rexton 
Remember, on the way here, I pointed out the chair that's over there, where me and my wife sat? That's where we are right now, Port Rexton. Thought the gull was waiting for me to take a dump on me or something. The way my luck is going, who knows? <laughs> of course, Route 236, which is what my campsite is on. It's a uh, all dirt road. They didn't mention that on their website. <laughs> Only got six kilometers to go, or five kilometers. I should be all right. Not the first time I rode on dirt roads on this bike. Get lobster. One kilometer to go. Nice looking area anyway. Ooh, river, running water. Maybe I'll hear that over on my campsite. Yeah, I feel bad because I, I questioned uh, why I needed a vehicle pass on a motorcycle when at La Manche, uh, they never ever charged me for a vehicle pass. But he's like, well, if I've got a license plate, it's a vehicle. 27, right here. Oh, this looks cozy. Where will I put my tent? Probably to the right. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll park it right here. Sweet home. Well, at least it will be in a few minutes once I get my uh, accommodations uh, sorted out. Where's housekeeping? Housekeeping! I uh, guess I gotta make the bed myself. So, to decide where I'm gonna set up. I was initially thinking over here, mainly because it's further away from the fire pit, less chance of sparks. What do you think? Or maybe over here a little slightly closer. Even right here. Yeah, I think right here, slightly closer would be good. Lots and lots of mosquitoes around. I'm glad I brought my mosquito net.
my handy dandy air mattress. Mosquitoes are bad. That's it. I'll get a fire going soon. Plus I'll be smoking one soon. I just want to get all this done first before I do anything. I often wondered if it's quicker just to uh, blow it up by mouth. <laughs> I was smart this time. I brought my uh, Kneel, knee, uh, seating pad. That way I can use it for kneeling on. It doesn't hurt my uh, knees so much. Pillow time. It's time to get out of these jeans. Got myself a little shelter here. <laughs> and I think I might have stepped outside. shoes on. It's a little more comfortable than jeans. Well I'm all set up. Now what? I think I'm going to have a little coffee. I need a caffeine fix because the last coffee I had was probably around one o'clock in Clarenville <laughs> at the Tim Hortons. So it's time to uh, bring out the big guns. And of course, I got a people in the site next to me who are probably listening to me, wondering what the heck is he doing. <laughs> All right, what next?
Time for the taste test. I'm not even going to get up this time. I'm too lazy. But I will show you around once I get my uh, coffee in me or ready to go. Flavor is good. Temperature is too high. It's okay. It's going to cool down later anyway. <sighs> I should have brought crackers. Some nice premium plus crackers would be good. Those cream crackers would be perfect with this. But I didn't bring any crackers. Oh well. Lots of mosquitoes around, so I'm getting my protein. <laughs> Soon be time. Only for I'm uh, drinking my coffee right now, I put my old army. My old army uh, bug net on. I probably don't need this chair with the uh, picket cable, but I like this for lounging in because you can recline, lean right back, stretch your legs out. It's comfy. And it doesn't take up much space in the motorcycle, so. That's what I got it for. Besides when all the crowd gathers later, they might need to pick the table. Perfect. Don't worry, there'll be no crowds. All right, let's look around. There's not gonna be much of a tour because <clears throat> I'm not going too far. There's my transportation, accommodations for tonight. Teton Sports, so you can tell it was, I forgot to take it out and dry it out last time I was uh, camping. It got moisture on it. Now it's got all mildew stuff all over or mold or whatever, mildew. My water station, perfect, it's right in my own uh, site. Gonna boil it for a minute. Rigorous boiling, not just regular boiling. What do you wanna see inside? There's my bed. It's just one quilt, a top quilt, nothing underneath, just the air mattress, because the air mattress insulates me from the ground. Over here is the kitchen, dining, slash, living room area, I guess. Especially with my recliner ready to go. Now, let's go down here and have a look at the creek that's right next to me. Or a river. Brook. It's pretty, uh, that'd be nice for uh, one of those um, tube, an inflatable tube. Cause it's got just enough current just to drag you gently down that way. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? So tonight when I go to sleep, I'm gonna hear that. Well, at least it's not frogs. I don't have to worry about frogs tonight. That's La Manche. La Manche is big for frogs. Now, I was going to pack my hammock as well in case there was somewhere to put it up, but uh, I haven't actually looked around. Let's see, if I had it went with hammock, what would have happened? Nothing in there. <laughs> nope. Nowhere around here for a hammock, so... It was a good call bringing the tent instead. Oh, man. So nice to sit down, even though I've been sitting down on the motorcycle quite a bit. I am going to finish this coffee, light the fire, have a draw, and cook my supper. That's my plan now. It's 8 o'clock. It's time.
Plus, I got enough wood to do me until a good 11 o'clock or so. But it's nice just sitting here doing nothing as well. Except when you sit here, you're covered in mosquitoes and black flies. The fire will take care of all of that. It'll take care of my hunger and my bug problem. All right, I have never been successful at this yet. Let's see if this works. A lot easier on YouTube. Yeah, way easier on YouTube, isn't it? Feel like giving up and just using my Alright, this is going to be frustrating. I want to quit. <laughs> I don't know how useful these things are. <laughs> I cheated this time. As you can see, a little cotton ball with a bit of Vaseline mixed into it. Makes for a great fire starter. I assume so.
Two thumbs up. Finally. So you know how I was in a panic over not having my uh, lighter with me, so I went to that store and bought a new one. Guess what's in my bag of goodies? My lighter. I did pack it. Time to get some supper on the go. Guess what I'm having for supper? Hot dogs. <laughs> Three hot dogs and a couple wieners. Should be alright. Now, to find a stick. Uh, there's some dead sticks over here. That should work. A little too flimsy, maybe. What are you doing, little fella? Hey. You overkeep me company? You're a pretty looking bird. Oh, you got a twin. You're looking for food, aren't you? Hey? I don't have any food for you. Where your buddy? I don't know what kind of bird you are. Your buddy is up there. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> the other one's still there on my feet. Must be intruding. You gonna steal my food? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> I don't trust you. All right, I got my stick ready. I watch out for those evil birds, though. I think I should have got a longer stick. It gives off a lot of heat. She's starting to cook. I think she is. <laughs> what do you think? No, nope, not a couple minutes. <clears throat> Damn, that's hot. All right, that one's done good enough. <clears throat> and guess what I forgot? Ketchup. I've eaten hot dogs many times without ketchup, so I'm not too concerned. Could have cooked for another couple minutes. But it's uh, pretty close. My fingers are cooked before then. The wow. 
last one. Probably don't even need that one. All right, now that the fire is going, it is time to medicate. <coughs> what do I want? Got gummies, got some sativa, and I got some indica. I think I'm gonna go with indica, since it's later in the evening. Gotta love these child-proof cannabis packages. Definitely child-proof, that's for sure. So this evening I brought a little treat to go along with that fire. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there she is. Contrabando. It's a Smuggler's Cove beer. Back to Low Trail Brewing Company. Limited edition Smuggler's Cove. Oh, what a coincidence. Just look at this. Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove. Yay! Man, that was great. First sip of a beer in a close to a year now. Highly recommend this one. Yeah, that's nice. It's got just the right amount of lime in it. Perfect for tonight. Thank you, Smuggler's Cove. This is awesome. Gummy time. I like these guys. They have a bit of a CBN, also CBD in them. So it does, it has the best of both worlds, I guess is one way to put it. They're indica, so just like that cannabis I just smoked, it'll just uh, relax me, make me drowsy. <laughs> That's what they look like. There's some tasty too. I wish there was more than a pack than two. All right, 
my beer is gone. That was good. As I said before, I highly encourage you to go and pick one up yourself. I got mine at the Black Marsh Road Dominion at the liquor store there. There's a few other places you can get them as well. But now, it's time to switch over to this as I wind down. This is a big old one. It's infused as well, so it should do some... Uh, it should be effective for me tonight, right? We'll see. We'll see how the rambling goes in a little while. <laughs> That's usually a telltale sign that the weed is working as I start rambling on and on and on. Uh-oh, poker to the rescue. Uh-oh, flimsy poker. <laughs> a little bit of ED going on there. <laughs> Ooh, the top. I'm not sure if it's the heat from this fire or if it's that joint I just smoked. One of the two's got me pretty relaxed right now. Feeling warm all over. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a toss up there. I think both. Oh, this is nice. Just sitting back listening to the crackling fire, crackling wood. And in the background, all I can hear is the uh, is the river. And every now and then, the neighbors uh, fire. I hear their wood crackling. That's it. It's pretty quiet here tonight. It's nice. Cause my last camping trip was pretty good, but uh, my neighboring uh, camper had a big trailer with one of those generators that's going until curfew hits <laughs> at one point it wasn't too bad because just the monotone droning of the generator is kind of uh, relaxing it's like white noise but then when it shuts off you're all messed up because you hear everything then it's either keep the generator on or off totally <laughs> that's my thoughts Where do those thoughts come from? You ever wonder that? I wonder that all the time. Where do your thoughts come from? Now we're going to go deep. Because the thoughts that we have are not our own. We don't actually think them. Because the thoughts are, they just, they just appear. You don't know what your next thought is going to be. You have no idea what you're going to think next until you think it. So somebody or something is controlling your thoughts, and it's not you. That's uh, I like thinking about that a lot. Yeah, I like philosophical discussions. God, this fire is mesmerizing right now. Here, I'll turn this around and show you. I know one thing, I got a bad case of the munchies right now, and I'm almost tempted to dig in that garbage can with those two wieners I threw out. <laughs> Just kidding, I wouldn't go that far. But I am eating a raw, everything bagel with nothing. That's all I got tonight. And I was going to bring some chips too, or crackers, but I figured, nah, I'll be in bed early enough that I won't need them. Well, I was wrong about that. But... This bagel is actually pretty good. I think anything would be pretty good right now. Well, that's the last of the wood right there. Once that burns out, it's bedtime for me. Holy crap. Talk about a sky full of stars. There's no way I can show you on this camera, but I'm just going to tell you that it's crazy because there's no other light around except for my fire 
And once my fire is out, I can only imagine what I'm going to see when I start looking up. So I'm more excited over the fire going out so I can see it, so I can gaze at the stars than I am about going to bed now. So I might be up for another little while. Maybe I can figure out how to uh, get the uh, footage of the stars with uh, with this camera. Maybe I'll try my phone. Phones are pretty good for that stuff. Where am I? I need some light. No, nope, can't put light on because that'll ruin my photo. Yeah, one thing about these uh, photos for night sky, like astrophotography, there's a setting in your phone that you can use. It takes five minutes for it to take one photo. So I'm after taking three photos so far and I want to take more, but my God, five minutes between shots, that's crazy. I don't know how to do. <laughs> Except get out here and complain about it. I don't know if these Google Pixel phones realize it or not, but it's been 20 minutes since I've been on Facebook. 20 minutes without social media. Holy crap. It's okay. I got the fire. The fire will keep me company for now. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably just your reflection. <laughs> but that's the timer. It's almost bedtime. No idea why I wanted to tell you that, but it is. It's almost bedtime now. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Telling you that I'm going to bed soon or telling you that it's almost bedtime. Again, where do those thoughts come from? <laughs> there, I can't take ownership of them, so they're not my thoughts. So. If they're stupid, sorry. Bedtime. Hard on our knees. There, I'm gonna show you off. I almost went to sleep without saying good night. I was all tucked in, just about to roll over on my side. I was like, oh, I should finish this video or add a little bit more. Because we got kind of snarled up out at the entranceway to this tent there the last, uh, the last time you see me. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a decent day. The ride was pretty good. Even though it was sprinkling off and on. A little bit of rain here and there. That's yeah, too bad that the uh, rain hit the Bonavista Lighthouse when I was out at the first time. Because that might have been the time that I could have used to uh, go to Elliston and check that place out. But time ran short and I had to get back to this campsite and figure out this scenario, which uh, which worked out pretty well as, as well. Even though I um, kind of made an ass of myself at the, end of, at the entranceway, I guess. The... Uh, I paid for my site anyway. They asked me for, uh, I had to pay for it. They asked me if I paid for my vehicle. So my vehicle, so I'm just here on my motorcycle. 
And he's like, if I got a license plate, it gets a vehicle. I said, said Lamont never ever made me pay it. And uh, anyway, I ended up paying it. They had no sympathy for me. <laughs> oh well, just it's just seven bucks. But it's the point. What am I going to be doing on a motorcycle in here? It was almost supper time, and I'm just coming straight in, sleeping for the night, and getting out of here. Anyway, I spent seven dollars on a lot worse things, a lot better things too. <laughs> that's for another. That's for another camping trip. That story. Or one of those stories. But anyway, I'm going to shut her down and go to sleep. My medications are all kicking in. Got sleeping meds in me. I got my indica oil in me. I smoked a joint before I came inside the tent. And there's this other medication that I'm on as well that's supposed to help me sleep a bit. Because of the recent bouts of insomnia. Anyway, probably going cross-eyed now. So I'll see you in the morning. Oh, man. Morning. Only grab it's quarter to nine. I got a three hour drive ahead of me. <laughs> I slept in. I didn't sleep well though. I might have slept in, but my night was horrible. Just couldn't get comfortable on this mattress for some reason last night. Well, I got some packing to do because I got my parents coming to my house today. <laughs> they should probably, maybe they'll be there before I am, who knows. Safe out. Looks it, and it's dry. There's no easy way to get out of these things. It's hard on every part of my body. A little bit of packing done before I get my coffee on the go. Needed to because my coffee was among that stuff. But nature calls, get to go. Guess what I've remembered that I never remembered last time. Toothpaste and toothbrush. <laughs> I'm excited. Wrong lid. Good for another few hours. Next on the menu this morning are these guys. I guess some, what are they? One for cholesterol, one for sugars, and all the bad stuff. One's an anti-anxiety. I think the other one is an antidepressant. I could be wrong, but it could also be another type of anti-anxiety med so I'm not really sure but either way this is like my uh, appetizer <clears throat> neighbors waving to me I give them my firewood last night 
I had uh, two bundles, and there's no way I could be up until like one in the morning burning wood. So I, uh, I gave them half a bag, and they were very appreciative over it. Okay, good deed of today. Anyway, time to get a coffee on the go, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have a quick coffee because uh, then I'm going to scooter to Clarenville and probably have a little coffee there and then make her home. It's a three-hour ride, so it's not that bad, but still, I got my parents leaving Bjorn. It's 9 o'clock now. I'd say they're getting ready to leave any time, so I'd like to be back before they're there. Eels are starting to come around. I wonder how good that uh, stove stand is <laughs> I boil it and forgot I left it in there hopefully it doesn't stick to it we'll see oh, man so I'm gonna get it straightened coffee here. Good, it fell off. This thing fell in with my coffee. I guess it's no worse than a tea bag. Oh well, one less thing I gotta pack up now. I'm not getting up for this taste test. Damn, it's always too hot. It never comes out just right. Curry got me spoiled, right? Because they come out at almost the perfect temperature. Last night, when I had those munchies, I came close to eating my second bagel. But I'm, uh, I'm glad I saved it. Although I'm not overly hungry, really, but I need to get something in me, you know. And again, I'm not even going to bother to fire this up and heat it. I'm just going to eat it like a dry piece of bread. Ooh, the sun is coming out. Yeah, it's nice getting out doing this. It's, uh, it gives you a little mental break. Gives the wife a break. She's probably glad I'm gone. <laughs> she never gets a break from me, right? Because I'm retired and she's not. So I'm home all the time. She's not. But whenever I'm home, she's there. That doesn't make sense. No, whenever she's home, I'm there. But when I'm home, there's a lot of times she's not there because she's off uh, working, right? That's what I need next to my house. There's a stream. <laughs> Something comforting and relaxing about a stream. There's, there's no way you can't pause and listen to it and not just feel relaxed. Well, there is a way, because if you look at my forehead, you probably can't see it, but there's mosquitoes, black flies, I should say. The black flies are out. So they tend to uh, mess up your mood a little bit, but just a little bit. Focus on the water. Deep breathing. Usually I use my breath as my, uh, as my, um, oh, I can't remember the word. It's like a grounding 
focus thingy. <laughs> so today I'm going to focus on the river. Although I don't really have time. I gotta drink this coffee and go. <laughs> I'm just being foolish. Well, the black flies are out, but they're not near as bad as I've experienced them. New Brunswick, oh, brutal. Saskatchewan, again, brutal. It was mostly mosquitoes in, in Saskatchewan, though. Up around Musgrave Harbor, horrible. <laughs> I spent a night there one year, and it was, uh, I almost got eaten alive. I didn't think I was coming out of there, but here I am. All packed up and ready to go. Alright, let's go. I got Bon Jovi's new album playing. Sorry, I'm just enjoying that as I'm enjoying the scenery. Looking at these sites, I think I got one of the better ones. <laughs> Had to write that down for next year or the next time I come this way. It's a nice looking park, well maintained, well looked after. They got all the amenities as you can see. But the best thing is that river flowing right through it. Was it Brad Pitt? A river runs through it. <laughs> Call me Brad. Patria. All right, four and a half kilometers of gravel road. It's not too bad. A few bumps in it, but and a few of those washboard sections. But for the most part, it's uh, it's all right. And I got packed up just in time because the rain is starting. Glad I decided to throw on my rain gear because I wasn't. Because it's kind of warm. 13 degrees already. But you can never trust the weather here in this province at all.
So I know I said that I was uh, going to go to Port Rexton. God, when I talk this fog's up so quick. <laughs> Tell I'm a nose breather. Anyway, uh, my plan was to go to Port Rexton and get some drone clips, but because it was raining, I backed out of that. So, sorry. I'm also sorry, too, because I was looking forward to them. But, uh, so no uh, Port Rexton drone clips. Just me riding home. Sorry, that's even worse, I know. Sweet. <laughs> that area, by the way, was Charleston. That was the arrow pointing to Sweet Bay. That's why I said sweet. Oh, if only I was turning right. Although my parents should be coming up that way in about, I'd say another hour or so, you'll see them come by this way because they're on their way in to visit me to see my son's uh, convocation. Alright, I'm going to honk the horn now to sync up the audio. That's why I do this. See, when I go back and edit later, I'll look for that little jump, that little spike in the audio uh, waveforms. And it saves uh, it's a little time trying to align clips up. But anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off here now. Because I'm past Goobies and there's not really much else going on here now. Just me driving home. So, um... Uh, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the ride, hope you enjoyed my trip, as I certainly did, and I'm looking forward to my next one, and I hope uh, you guys stick around, subscribe to my channel, and uh, watch the next one with me. Anyway, thanks again for accompanying me, I love the company, and I'll see you on the next ride, so 
Take care.